We stopped being a student newspaper at 5.13 on Wednesday, April 27th. We started being a community newspaper. I went through this period of integration, frankly, shaking in my boots every day. Yet, you know, there, there was nothing to do except go through it. I was really impressed by the staff's resilience um, and their commitment. Like, it was like extremely moving, actually. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, beauty without expression is boring. This will be a day that will go down in state history. And all you can do is pray for those people. I don't get this. I don't understand the questions. I don't understand the philosophy you all have. That we can only have five guys that play in the offensive line. If anybody else plays, it's catastrophe. The sky is falling. The 747 went down. I don't, I don't get that. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I'm sorry, Diana. <laughs> this is mine. I'm like right between, right between the colors. <laughs> now it's big. Great hat, though. You check the charts and start to figure it out. And if it's crowded, all the better. But you guys should know that the entire process of making that newspaper is harder than you think. Yeah! <laughs> and the people that work for me put up a lot of shit because I'm not really that nice. <laughs> but that was only because I love the paper and I know these people can do great things. Hi, I'm Trey Smith. I'm Trey Smith. Hi, I'm Trey Smith. I'm Trey Smith, opinions editor of the Crimson White. I'm not Bumblebee chasing me right now. Okay. So we are getting our shoes on here in New Orleans with our friends. Um, Dan, Dan, the shoe shine man. Dan, Dan, the shoe shine <laughs> man. Being at this school, it's kind of a, it's not a secret, but you just don't talk about it. It's its there, and that's how it is. I think at the end of the day, I just thought it was the right thing to do, and it needed to be talked about. It needed to be addressed, and these barriers stopping change uh, needed to be addressed.